Well, hello, my photography friends. Here I am at Riverview, also known as Essendale. It's actually the original name. And I'm set up up here, and I'm going to be taking a picture of the leaves. As long as the sun comes out, if it doesn't come out, it's not going to happen because it's really important that I have the light on the leaves. Anyways, the point of this shoot is to see how much of an effect the uh, a green filter will have on the red bricking. Because what I want to do is I'm going to be shooting on HP5 panchromatic film and I want to see, I want to compare an unfiltered shot with a uh, green filter shot just to see how much the green filter lowers the red of the bricking because that's how I visualize this image is for the red brick to be dark and the leaves to really stand out. Green leaves, green filter, green filter will pass a lot more of the green light and block some more of the red light. So I've got the camera all set up and I'm just waiting for the sun. There's a nasty cloud over there blocking it. So hopefully we're going to get some. Come on up. All right. So I'm waiting for the sun to light up those leaves there. But I don't know, there's a great wall of clouds there. It's quite lovely with soft, soft light. You know, in fact, I think I'm gonna go and do it now. So, okay, so I'm using a green. It's a, what is it? Oh, I forget. It's a Marumi 77 millimeter MC P01. I gotta stick this on. I'm using the, I'm using a uh, Nikkor 300 millimeter lens. So I need a step up ring. I think it's this one. 52, is that 52? It is 52 to 77. I use these stationary clips or whatever you want to call them just to pull the bellows up. Camera's all set up as you can see. It's the image has been composed. I've raised the camera up slightly and to keep uh, the back parallel with the building's wall, I've tilted it forward slightly. Same with the front standard. I've also raised the lens up to get more of the top of the image in. Okay, so the green filter is two stops more. What am I shooting? I'm shooting at HP5. I usually normally shoot that at 250, EI of 250. So I'm gonna add two stops. So that's EI64. And then I'm gonna take my reading. There aren't any really dark areas, except for the branch. Not really consumed. I'll, I'll probably take the reading off of the window. So we got a, I got one second at 11 and a third. 11 and a third, and I'm gonna put that on three, zone three. So one, two, three, looks like 32 and a third. And we're doing a second, so I'm gonna add a third stop for reciprocity. Nothing, Jehoshaphat. Should you not shut down, Jim? Let's try that again. Okay. Whoop. Okay, with the filter. and without the filter. So I've got to give two stops less. So I'm gonna do, change the shutter speed. You know what? I'm gonna shoot another one without a filter. I'm gonna pretend I didn't have a filter. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna underexpose. The uh, negative. 
I'm going to underexpose the negative by a stop, hoping that underexposure will darken the red a little bit more. Okay, let's try it. So, I don't care if those windows go black. I'm going to take my reading off of the red brick, the darkest part of the red brick. 16 and a third, add a quarter. Just out of curiosity, where will that window fall? Oh, it's only a half stop difference. That's interesting. The leaves, the brightest leaves. Not very bright anymore. We lost about a stop. It's probably going to do M plus two. Hey, O'Neill, this is maybe one of your many bird brained ideas. Okay, a quarter of a second at 16 and a third. That's the brick. Normally I would put the brick on probably zone five. So I'm going to put it on four. Quarter of a second. And I'm going to go to a half second so I can get us. A lot more in there for depth. Quarter of a second and F32. Familiar theme going on here. Oh, okay. Let's do this. Okay, so I'm going to make a note of this exposure. That's holder number 38. Holder number 38. Not hiker 38. Holder. Older, 38, HP 5, N, plus 2, save. No, I don't think I'm going to get that sun today. Pity. I, I do have other sh sheets of film. I, I believe I got FD4 and some TMY2, but I'm not going to bother shooting those. I'm just going to stick with my favorite, HP 5, for this. So that wraps up this shoot. I just want to show you another shot that I, I was hoping to, oops, sorry, that I was hoping to get today, but I really want to have some sunlight dancing in the leaves. Let's have a look. Now I've shot this view, well, these three columns many times, but I saw it the other day on really soft, sparkly little sunlight on the leaves and stuff, and patches of light on the column. So that I want to capture, but it's not going to happen today because of the cloud cover, so I'm going to come back tomorrow morning. I'm going to wrap it up for today. I'll see you guys later. I might even take you in the dark room. Hey, there might even be one worthy of a print. I have a good feeling about this. I'm really looking forward to see what the green filter does and the unfiltered shot that I did um, and underexposing by a stop. And, you know, and then I'll expand or increase my development time. I'm going to compare them and see. Anyways, take care, you guys. Catch you guys later. Have a great day.
I was here yesterday and I was getting a shot of that, if you re recall. It was a nice calm day, but there was no sunlight. I, I went ahead anyways and took some shots and I did process those and they actually looked pretty decent. But I, I really wanted to shoot this with light, sunlight. So uh, as soon as I got here this morning, I reshot that little test I was doing with the with the green filter and without the green filter and then exposing without a filter really really low on the zonal scale just to see what happens. <laughs> 